And uh, what is going on, everybody? Um, Ethan called the wild here. It looks like we got us a nice eight mythical piebald right there. So um, in this video, we're going to be showing a good, great one. Red deer setup for TE or TE Aoroa, if I'm saying that correctly. But yeah, first off, let's just jump into the video. All right, guys. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to have all your zones for TE Aoroa. You should have in the 40s. I have 43. I will show a hotspot map in the end of the video where they drink and where they do not drink. Brief rundown, they don't drink at these three lakes down here. Neither here or here. Those are very good. These right here are very good fallows. Like if you're trying to start up your fallow deer diamond, that's a really good spot. But once you have all your zones, you want to set up. You don't want to start your grind until you have at least $500,000 so you could buy tents and tripods once you do that you just set up at most of the, all these lakes and you just start shooting everything you see and once you do that yeah guys that's how you get your great one but for different grinds like for whitetail you don't have as many tents and tripods to set up on every lake so you do something called herd management and i'll get a little deep into herd management here in a few minutes let me go ahead and shoot this red deer all right guys so we got some nice eight mythical right here and talk a little bit about herd management. So basically what you want to do, you really don't do herd management for red deer. But for whitetail, say you don't have many tents to set up for the whole entire map. What you want to do is you want to have something called an exterior zone and a main zone. Which, see, I have everything set up on Tiaroa. So I don't need any of that. But for like, say, Rev on Tuli or Layton, what you do is you go to a zone and you shoot everything until it's level 1's. Or fence track level twos and then you find the zones that are the best suitable for you and you set up on those and you rotate on those ten zones so that's basically what herd management is in a nutshell so let's take out these two decent sized deer right here yeah we'll rotate on my map and I'll get a little bit more deeper into stuff and oh uh, yeah the so looks over here guys we got us a small five medium albino so look at that and I guess a dead deer I did not pick up so uh Red Deer drink from 6 to 10 a.m. on every piece of water except, like I said, down here. There's no Red Deer there, there, or there. Oh, by the looks of down here, we got us a Red Deer. Some Red Deer, guys. And uh, a max track for a Red Deer is 462 pounds to 529 pounds. Do not know that in kilograms. But I do know Red Deer drink from 6 to 10 a.m. And they used to drink in the night a while back. But they changed it to daytime. So it's way easier to hunt them. And yeah, guys. That's about all that you need to know about Red Deer. Maybe there's some other videos you can find. Like Lady Legend, I Buy Premiums, and all of them. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching the video. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you. And yeah, guys, red deer drink on every piece of water except the bottom right lake and the three bottom left lakes. You can find red deer at all these three dots. At least these are where all mine are. They should be the same for you, but not exact. But yeah, guys, um, that's it for the red deer guide. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.